everyone this is Dom and I'm gonna make a short video here to show you how graphic design interns can assist uh, on the Instagram Trello board so here's the Instagram Trello board and you see a bunch of you know a bunch of images in here and you know I'll just uh, I'll take a couple examples um, right here we have VA and men's warehouse dress for success and it's a pretty cool post um, but unfortunately one of the one of the graphics here this one I actually really like this photo but uh, unfortunately it doesn't fit in um, in Salesforce Social Studio if I it's this one's called dress for success JPEG right um, I actually downloaded it already dress for success now if I was to try to import it into um, Social Studio Instagram dress for success I try to upload the the image this is another one that I tried to create but it didn't work uh, or this one right here, dress for uh, success dress. But here, here's the original one, dress for success JPEG. I get this image must be within four or five to one point nine one one ratio aspect ratio range. Unfortunately, it is not. So you got to adjust it. Um, well, you have a couple choices. You can either adjust it, or you can choose a different image. Now, in this case, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong Trello. Uh, here in this case it turns out we actually have two images so here's another one that we can use and this is going to be um, this is the uh, landscape view it's a little bit more forgiving but one of the problems that I have here is the background um, is really dark uh, it doesn't pop it's just kind of you know I like the image I, I really love this picture but it just doesn't you know the background is too dark um, so that's why I um, hop over here. Um, so you can see, you know, I just put a curves adjustment layer on here and, you know, brightened it up a little bit. Um, you know, I would, you know, that really doesn't really need a whole lot more. I must admit, I am not a graphic designer by trade. Um, you know, I've taught myself enough that I can, you know, kind of touch up photos a little bit to make them look nice. Uh, but you guys, you know, you are graphic design interns, uh, graphic design students, and I have no doubt that you have more skill in the area of Photoshop than I. So um, this is your opportunity to hop in here and do some updates to these photos to make them look good. Um, so for this photo right here, uh, you know, as you saw, I, you know, I basically um, just uh, added a curves layer. Um, you might also consider just, you know, adjusting some brightness contrast, you know, eh, honestly, that doesn't work as well to me. It's like, it's not as good looking. You have to drop out some contrast. I don't know. It doesn't work as well to me. Uh, I like the curves adjustment layer a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so this is what you could do. Um, and then, so once you got it, uh, you know, adjusted the way you like it, and I'm talking seriously, like if there's shadows, if it's too shadowy, you know, brighten it up. Throw a brightness uh, adjustment layer and then just, uh, you know, you can put a layer mask, invert it, and then paint in the areas where you want to brighten up. You know, you can do dodge and burn. Um, you, you could uh, do some vignettes. You can do all sorts of stuff. Um, just make it look good is, is the point. Make it look sharp. Um, something that you would want to see on on uh, Instagram, okay? And that's the goal. That's the role that um, Insta uh, that uh, graphic design interns can play on the Instagram team. Is you hop in here, and you see, hey, um, you know, this photo. I mean, come on, look at that background. It's so dark. You know, compare it to to here. It's you know, it's popping right now. Looks a lot better. So you know, your role is to go in here, find pictures that need help. And, and just grab them and fix them. Um, a, a situation where you got um, this dress for success picture, if I wasn't, if I didn't have that other version of it, um, I might actually have to go in here and, and do something to it. Um, such as like, you know, I can go to image, uh, canvas size and call it pixels 1080 by 1080 and then you know, I go over here and I might have to stretch it or something. That could be a thing right there. Um, this is actually 
a little bit more than I wanted, but you get the idea. Like, because, you know, Instagram, it likes 1080 by 1080 photos. They also do um, portrait, but, you know, maybe this could be a thing. You could do it like that. Uh, another op another option that sometimes, you know, you might want to go with. Although, understand, I am not a graphic designer, so I'll leave this decision to you guys as to what looks the best. Um, is you might want to go in here and do something like this and then throw some kind of a background uh, color on on the back. You do like do a gradient tool or something. Background, this color, foreground, this color, and then something like that. Or something like this. I don't know. <laughs> no idea but like if you wanted to get the full size picture you could do something like that or be more creative I want you to be creative um, you know make this look nice classy not like it uh, doesn't have to be crazy super silly or anything like that but make it look good um, this is something that I would do but uh, like I keep telling you guys I'm not a graphic designer uh, I look to you for you know what you would do in this situation but that's basically what you can do um, you can you could either expand it so that you're cropping off the bottom and it's actually um, you know it's uh, where's free transform so that it actually takes up a square 1080 by 1080 or you can set it square 1080 by 1080 and then adjust the size and add some kind of gradient in the background or put some kind of picture in the background um, something that or a design a pattern shape something uh, in the background something that makes it look nice um, you know you can do that and so that it fills up the sidebars um, if you can do that then do it um, and then once you're done um, you know so for this let's say for this one for example I want to let's say I want to use this file export save for web well, I'm sure you may have a different way of doing it. Dress for success. I'm going to call it dress for success three. Yay. Who knew? And then I'll hop right on over here to Trello. Go to my little folder here. Drag, drop. And so there might be a label here. Graphics updated. Boom. And now when the person who's going to schedule it goes in to, to take it over to Salesforce, they'll have a, a nicer photo. I mean, you know, I didn't really change a whole lot on this. All I did was brighten it up a little bit. But you get the idea. It'll, it'll be nicer than it was. The other version was really dark, okay? Um, often, another thing you can do is click on this link here um, and go, and sometimes it will have multiple photos along with these posts. So you can kind of scroll through. Like, this one might have been a good picture, actually. This one right here. Um, but I kind of, I'll be honest, I like the one that I used. Um, oops, go away. But yeah, that's basically what you can do. Go in, find photos that need updating, uh, and, you know, go ahead and update them. It's very simple. If you have questions, I'm in Slack. Hit me up. Thanks.